In 1962, the Grand Prix introduced a new class, GP50, for racing motorcycles with 50cc engines. Honda, competing in this event, unveiled the Honda RC110, dubbed a small monster. This bike featured a 49cc single-cylinder engine, a 9-speed gearbox, weighed 50 kilograms, and could rev up to 17,500 RPM, achieving a top speed of 145 km per hour. In May 1962, during the GP50 race, Honda unexpectedly launched a racing replica of the RC110, known as the Honda CR110 Cub Racing, alongside the premiere of the RC110. In the current era, CR110 Cub Racing might be said to be similar to NSF250R, aka the mass production version of NSF250RW, which is used in Moto3 racing championships. The use of the name Cub itself is due to the engine used by this motorbike being a 50cc, where this engine capacity was identical to the Honda Cub product line, which at that time mostly used 50cc engine capacity. In accordance with the original version, the CR110 uses a 48.9cc engine with a bore of 40mm and a stroke of 39mm, DOHC 4 air-cooled valves supplied by a Kian RP 25mm carburetor. It doesn't stop here. The technology embedded in this motorbike is really similar to a GP racing motorbike, namely using a gear-driven camshaft, dry clutch, accompanied by an 8-speed transmission ratio. The CR110 engine, with its advanced technologies, is said to deliver 9.5 horsepower at 14,000 RPM and a maximum torque of 4.6 Newton meter at 11,500 RPM, reaching up to 15,000 RPM in engine speed. Besides engine specs close to the original, its chassis mirrors the RC110, ensuring a light total weight of just 69 kilograms. This allows for speeds up to 130 kilometers per hour. At that time, Honda officially provided special racing spare parts for the CR110, known as Y-Parts, including racing support components such as special clip-on handlebar, footsteps, racing model tanks, and so on. Because sales of Y parts were selling well, not long after Honda made CR110 Cub Racing with fully optional Y parts which were more ready to be used for racing. Oh yes, apart from the racing version, Honda also produces a road version of the CR110. This version appears in a scrambler style and is equipped with headlamp components, stop lamps, along with tubular handlebars. However, the engine sector has been slightly downgraded using a smaller 20mm size PW carburetor, so that the power output has dropped to 7 horsepower at 12,700 RPM, and the torque is 3.9 Newton meter at 11,000 RPM. The complex engine construction and its durability at high RPMs make this motorbike engine known as an ultra recision engine, or often referred to as a Mickey Mouse engine because the side cover of the cylinder head is shaped like Mickey Mouse's head. The performance of the CR110 Cub Racing engine has been proven in prestigious racing events such as the L. Uvman 50cc class, where racer John Lawley, who at that time used CR110 Cub Racing, managed to record the best finish in 7th place in 1968. The exact production quantity of Honda's CR110 remains uncertain. Motorfan, a Japanese car magazine, reported that only 246 CR110s were made, with 22 shipped to Europe in 1963. There are many requests from fans who want this motorbike to be produced again. On February 28, 1997, Honda Japan revived the exotic motorbike successor to the CR110, which was named the Honda Dream 50. In Japan, this motorbike is popularly called the Tokonoma bike because most buyers only put this motorbike in the room to use as a decoration or display. Even though at first glance the appearance looks almost similar, the component details of the Honda Dream 50 are much different from the CR110. This list encompasses an alternative frame construction design, an extended stroke size, the absence of a gear-driven camshaft, no dry clutch present, merely a 5-speed transmission, the weight is significantly heavier, specifically 81 kilograms, and the power output is notably less compared to the Honda CR110. Conversely, the Honda Dream 50 introduces several contemporary features, including both front and rear disc brakes. The cylinder head is designed with a twin port model, which results in dual exits, a unique sound, 
Then there are additional headlamps, stop lamps, mirrors, speedometer, and turn signals, which make it friendlier to drive on the highway. Unfortunately, production of this motorbike only lasted for two years before sales were stopped. However, once again, because the demand for this motorbike was quite high, in the year 2004, Honda again presented the successor to the Dream 50, which was named the Honda Dream 50R. This version came with full racing specs, then some of the engine parts were made by HRC, then the lights and standard road equipment was removed. The spark board was replaced with aluminum, and the transmission was changed to a six-speed. The weight of this bike dropped notably from 81 kilograms to 71 kilograms, while its engine power rose to 6.9 horsepower at 13,500 RPM, and torque reached 4.41 newton meters at 10,500 RPM. The Honda Dream 50R was limited to just 440 units, sold by Honda at a high price of 438,000 yen. Thanks to all its uniqueness, currently all variants of the exotic 50cc motorbike made by Honda, be it the CR110 Cub Racing, Honda Dream, or Honda Dream 50, are now sought after by collectors not to mention the very limited number of production units, causing used prices to soar high on the market. Okay, maybe that's just a little of our discussion in this video. Thank you for watching.